Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our lecture series. Today we're talking about MRSA infections, very common uh, problem uh, that we see on the outpatient clinic as well as the hospital. About 30 to 50 percent of our isolates are staff of staff for us are MRSA now. Depends on where you're located, of course. Uh, these, uh, these rates vary uh, year to year and uh, geographically as well. Uh, my, from a micro standpoint, we simply look at the Staph aureus's ability to kill or be killed by oxicillin. If it's resistant to oxicillin, then it's considered an MRSA uh, organism. MRSA primarily causes skin and soft tissue infections or bone infections, uh, lung infections, and of course it has a predilection to cause bacteremia uh, as well as endocarditis. Uh, affects all ages, uh, extremely virulent uh, uh, infection. Uh, what's unusual is over 90% of people who harbor MRSA on their body, and this is a skin organism that lives on the skin, it's transferred by, by skin to skin, uh, don't have any infections, and that's why it's an epidemic. So people can clearly transmit this organism person to person, not even know that they have, uh, you know, colonization with uh, MRSA. People who live in cloud, crowded uh, facilities, uh, prisons, uh, people who have crowding in general, whether living in a group home or whatever, have an increased risk of carrying MRSA, as, as well as those who have topical skin problems such as psoriasis, eczema, uh, that type of thing. Uh, what makes this organism so toxic is uh, pantin valentin uh, leukocyte and toxin that can be produced. Causes very deep infections. Uh, the USA 300 strain of MRS has caused a lot of damage. Uh, throughout the U.S. over the recent years. As I said, this organism is spread by hands. It's not, you know, floating around in the air, contagious that way. Uh, what antibiotics can we use for MRSA? Well, orally, we can use trimethoprim sulfa, doxycycline, rifampin, but never alone rifampin. And, of course, linazolid is uh, very good as well. Uh, sometimes ciprofloxacin or other quinolones or clindamycin is also effective but not the drugs of choice. Intravenously, we like to use vancomycin, linazolid, daptomycin, and now, of course, we have this fifth-generation cephalosporin called, called ceftaroline. It's uh, very effective uh, against uh, MRSA. We've got a host of uh, antibiotics that will be coming out in the next couple of years uh, to fight uh, MRSA. Uh, once MRSA is, is become part of the has become uh, is found in the bloodstream, uh, it can land anywhere. It likes to go to the liver, the spleen, the kidneys, uh, land in bones, and uh, will require uh, multiple weeks of uh, antibiotic therapy. So just give you a uh, kind of a rundown on MRSA. Uh, big problem, but it'll continue to be uh, for years to come. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing up.